you gotta make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi connection. Not just some standard, oh, the router's eight miles away, yeah, I'm kinda connected, I'm on one bar of strength. No, no, no. Today we're gonna to be covering how to set up your Oculus Quest 2, and also so that it can play Steam games. Let's start off with what is the Oculus Quest 2? This is so that we can use VR and we can put it on our head and we can be able to see an entire world around us. It's amazing technology and we can use it to play a whole bunch of different games. But we don't have to limit ourselves with just the games that are on the Oculus Quest. We can instead add in games that are also in our Steam library. So what is a Steam library? The way I kind of think about it is it's like a library that has all of your favorite games you've ever purchased in one convenient location. It has all the download paths. You can just click on the file name and it'll bring you right to where it's downloaded and installed on your computer instead of you having to search on your desktop or wherever it might be. So in doing so, it's a great way to stay organized and you can see like, oh, I have all of my favorite games here. You know, maybe you have Rocket League, maybe you have you know halo or what have you you can see all these different games on there and you can then join and grab them as you want to and play them and install them as you need to next up we're going to talk about how you set up this oculus quest 2 so that it connects to your computer and to be able to play those games from steam first off you're going to want to make sure that you have the oculus app it's an easy download we'll put it in the description below once you have that you're going to load it up as you see here on my screen on the left hand side you're going to see devices so that device is where we're going to set up for getting this machine connected to our laptop or a desktop you're going to want to make sure you have a pretty good rig in order to be able to do this because you know streaming vr is an intensive task to get started we're going to click on add headset and then it's gonna ask us the age old question, which headset is yours? There's so many different types of headsets, but today we're talking about the Oculus Quest 2. So we're gonna click on that here. You can see it's the image on the left. We're gonna click continue. Then it's gonna ask us, do we want to do link cable or do we want to do air link? Now I'm gonna tell you this, both will work. However, air link does operate wirelessly. So if you're running around things and you don't want to be yanked by a cord, you can do it that way. There's one caveat that happens with that. And that is, you gotta make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi connection. Not just some standard, oh, the router's eight miles away. Yeah, I'm kind of connected. I'm on one bar of strength. No, no, no. You wanna make sure that you have pristine internet that maybe you're just right next to the router. So you can make sure you get the best connection quality possible. For today's lesson, I'm gonna be covering how to link it with a link cable because I'm not gonna be moving around too much as well as it's a little bit more stable for you all watching. So I'm gonna click on link cable and then I'm gonna click continue. Now it says connect your headset and I'll have a little loading bar. So that's where we have our USB-C cable as you see here. This is the one with the little rounded edges, kinda of looks like a rectangle with a circle attached on either side. We're gonna first plug that into our laptop Okay, and then we're going to plug that into our Quest 2. Now, you may be wondering, Flash, I do not have that connection on my laptop. You can buy uh, a USB-C to USB-A connector. Pretty simple stuff, should be not more than $10. Now that we have that connected, it'll pop up on your screen and say, connection. You may need numbers that'll check, hey, is this the right one that we're going into? So, dive into your Oculus Quest, and let's see. So on your screen, you may see something that says, allow access to data. So the connected device will be able to access on the files in the headset. Yeah, that's just saying, hey, computer, is this okay to access? So you're gonna pick up your controller and then you're going to select allow, okay? Now you should get this wonderful screen and it'll bring up your desktop as it's shown on your Oculus Rift, okay? At the bottom, you're gonna see this little bar and in there, there's gonna be a whole bunch of different options. Down on the bottom right, you're gonna see two that I wanna key you in on. You're gonna see home, and you're going to see desktop. The desktop kind of looks like the, a monitor. That's kind of what it looks like. You're going to click on that desktop one, and that'll bring you to a live view of what's going on your desktop. Crazy stuff. I know the world is communicating from here to here in an instant. It's wonderful because next, we are going to click on Steam. And you can go ahead and open it up from that desktop either using these controllers or by using your mouse with your headset off. I'm gonna do that with the headset off here so I can go through the steps a little bit easier. So, next up in Steam, we're gonna open that up and you are going to need to have a game called Steam VR. It's not really a game, it's really just an environment so that your headset works properly with Steam's architecture. You can find that by clicking on the store 
and then you're going to type in Steam VR. And the one that you're looking for has a nice blue and pink background. That may change the update their icons, but it'll still say Steam VR. You're gonna click on it, it should say free. This should not cost you any money. If it costs anything, that's not the right one. Make sure you get the free one. Then it's gonna show you uh, a picture of you know, the Steam VR. It'll say very positive reviews. That's the one you're gonna wanna look for. You're then going to click play now. That usually will then start a download process and make sure that it's on your computer. I've already gone ahead and downloaded it so that we can get right to that process. Now that I click play now, it's gonna load up this Steam VR on your screen. Now's a good time to head back into our Oculus Rift. Now that we're back into our Oculus, and we've loaded up the Steam VR, it's gonna go through the section on how to get this set up. And you can do that by clicking on the instructions as shown on the screen. It'll tell you that you need to press your trigger in order to hit OK. It'll tell you how to move. And then from there, you're going to load up Steam. And it'll show you the different games that you have here on the left and then you'll be able to select whichever game you want to. Here, I'm gonna show you a game that I have on here, and you can click, and then in this game, you kind of get to, to swing around from like web slinging, kind of going around, and you can see how in this, I can kind of look around, and it just looks like I'm in normal VR. It's not like it's not even connected to Steam. You can do this with all of your favorite games, and you can go through and connect them that way. That way, now, you can have all of your favorite games from Steam on your Oculus Rift. Ah! Oh, oh, thank you so much for watching the video today. We covered our Oculus, we set it up, we got connected to our computer, and then also we played some fun Steam VR games with it too. Thanks for checking out the video, hope you liked it. Be sure to check out the rest of our channel too. Have a great one. I gotta wash off before I put my Oculus back on. Thanks. <laughs>